Like, and what about when adults employ misgenders you I'm intentionally? So sorry, while, while she's talk, while he's talking, you're talking. You just misgendered me again. Okay. Multiple times. Gotcha. Both of you have. Sorry. Wasn't intentional, but if you yeah. want to take it personal, that's also. Well, okay. she did do it intentionally twice. I Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing another reaction video, but I brought Seth on. You all know Seth. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So if you don't know Seth, Seth, Seth is my producer for the show, but I really wanted to start incorporating him into more of these things because he's awesome. He's a young trans guy and I really do value his opinions on things. And I just think it'll be kind of fun to have another trans guy along with me looking at the craziness because, <laughs> you know, Seth and I is getting into it on the phone but <laughs> I, I think it'll be fun like this so with that i uh, would love it if you all like subscribed you know uh ring that bell thing and all of that it's really helping us to grow our channel and we feel for sure excited. yeah you hit see that it, like Seth? button That's if i right. say it it's not like you're begging for it it's me begging for it so <laughs> <laughs> right on dude i know i don't like to beg <laughs> it's not my thing um so today we have what, what we wanted to, to discuss was this pronoun thing. I, I know it's kind of old and lame at this point, but I, it's still out there. I mean, it's still insane. It's, it is old and lame, but at the same time, that small block of popular influencers who are yeah. doing this crazy stuff yeah. is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's scary. I know. It's actually really scary. But one of the things I want to say, and I'm going to start with this first clip that's probably been going around uh, the airline guy. But I really think mm -hmm. this is an important thing because I think it's showing that people are starting to get over it and upset by the yeah, way for sure. are acting. Yeah. So do you know who this person is? Who he? So mm -hmm. I just looked it up five minutes ago before we started. Excellent. And I was like, whoa, this is the guy that was from Stranger Things, who was a gay guy. On Stranger Things, he was playing a gay high schooler, like oh, what, wow. four years ago, five years ago. Um, so you know, he it sounds like an indoctrination story. Um, you know, obviously not saying there aren't trans people. You and I are trans people, of course. But yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a guy, a kid who was probably sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, gay in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we can only make our our best guesses, you know. Wow, man. So, so now he's, so now is he or whatever her. They transitioned to be a woman apparently maybe a year or two ago. Um, okay. I just looked it up. I just, I okay, just, yeah, I, yeah. you said yeah. Delta Airlines and I was like, let me, let me see what that is. And then I right. went on a whole rabbit hole about Stranger Things. Okay. So, so here you go. You got the backstory on this person. <laughs> now you're going to see what this person did. It's so embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for them because now they're getting reamed. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I just read Okay, it. great. That's even better. Okay, yeah. let's do this. Okay, here we go. We're going to bring this up. About when adults employ misgenders I'm you so intentionally. While she's talk while he's talking, you're talking. You just misgendered me again. Okay. Multiple times. Gotcha. Both of you have. Sorry. Wasn't intentional, but if you yeah. want to take it personal, that's also well, okay. she did do it intentionally twice. Gotcha. You're talking to me too. You said she, and then you said he. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, Ooh. I have full authority escort you out the building right this moment. If you want to play that game with me, okay. Would you like to continue three days before Christmas? I really don't mind. I'm good. I'll just put this on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh wow, dude! <laughs> you know. <sighs> That voice didn't really sound like a woman to me. So, I, I mean, someone making an honest mistake is not, uh, it, it's not out of the, the realm of, you know, it, it happens is, what, oh is my, what I'm trying to say. Thank you. I mean, this is ridiculous. I saw a picture of the person. They don't look female, number one. Number two, they have a male voice. And that person, the other person, not the main guy who was saying it, but there was a person yeah. behind that this person was saying was misgendering. They said, yeah. I apologize. They actually said that. I apologize. I could hear them. And right. then, and then right. the person was acting as if they were, in first off, this person is acting like everyone's intentionally misgendering them. Right. Yeah, no one, this this Delta employee did not wake up this morning, clock in to be like, okay, let's make sure we respect every trans person. They're doing yeah. their job. They don't have That's time right. to ask, are you she, her, are you he, the, like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. What? It's actually gross. And, and, and no wonder people dislike us. I don't even want to be near this kind of stuff. That person was looking for a fight. That's why they pulled their phone out. They for put sure. the camera on. They were like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. They were just being snotty and gross. And, Absolutely. you know, 
So I what I, I just want to say this before we move on to the next clip. I, I really think this is what's hurting our community tenfold. It's acting yes. out, acting out in public, and then acting like you're right and the other person is wrong. Right. Just look, we you say it all the time, but when you're trans, you're trans, you do something about it, and then you move on with your life and you go do what you you know, you do your career, you do what you, you do in life before you transition, but you just do it in a more comfortable way. That's you're not right. a sign all of a sudden to just tell the whole world that that's what you are and <laughs> expect everyone around you to revolve around you. It's ridiculous. They, they a- actually expect it. And then when they don't get it, they throw a tizzy fit. That is something else that's not trans. So uh, it's exhausting, people. Come on, knock it off, community. It knock it <laughs> off. You see, the whole world is like showing you and looking like a fool. You look like a fool. And you look like you're actually wanting to create a fight. And you're wanting to do that to that poor guy who's just doing his job. Like well, He's probably not even going to get paid. He's probably not getting paid much either. So let him just let him <laughs> do his job. I don't know if anyone's ever had a job like that, but you don't want a job like that. And we need to thank those people because being in that space is hard enough. The last thing you need is some idiot coming Especially up and saying, "Especially three days before Christmas." <laughs> That's not right, on, be. dude. Three days before <laughs> Christmas. Stop, take it down a little, dude. Like it's okay. <laughs> Someone called you he. Oh my god, you are a he. You just want to be a she. And okay. It sucks. I know you want to move on, but it sucks right. because. I spent so much time wanting to explain to people how much it hurts to be misgendered. Yeah. And in this world, yeah. 10 years later, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. That's you right. know, it was amazing the first time that I was called he. It feels good. But now they've taken it too far to where I don't even want to talk about it, you know? Well, I mean, come on, my friend, you actually made an effort. Yeah. In the beginning of our transitions, we're all getting misgendered. It's not special, not just certain people. We all got misgendered, but you yeah. grew from that. And you do under, I do understand the pain when someone misgenders you. I do. But these people, I don't believe they're in pain. I believe that they're actually using this to, to make content, right? To show off to the world, to be this cool new sort of person. I, I don't necessarily believe it's hurting this person's feeling. It just doesn't no. feel that. If you're way. walking up to the person with your phone already recording, you know what you're doing. That's right. That's right. Most people like us who we would just want to be like, okay, see you later. Like we just want to oh, hide. I don't even say anything. That's I right. Would accept the, the <laughs> accept the she and then go hide somewhere in the bathroom. That's right. <laughs> That's true. Just for you. Right. Right. For sure. Be- because what is it accomplishing? Nothing. This person. No, you're never going to see that person again. That's right. It doesn't and- matter. And also, you got to take some responsibility in yourself. If you're not looking like a woman and you're not sounding like a woman, sorry, someone's going to call you. And also, a lot of women who sound like men get misgendered constantly, but they don't yeah. throw a tizzy fit and and spin out on life. It's This is all play. I believe it. It's all sort of just playing in a costume. They, they live on a stage. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I don't believe that this is – and it's just my opinion and probably Seth's too. Just a little um, what an idiot. <laughs> the guy's an idiot. So I want this person. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah. The so sweet water starts at yes, okay. Not, I mean, I'm, not, I'm so sorry. My apologies. It just always like a knife. It always hurts every single time. I was wondering if there's a manager I could talk to about something that happened. Yeah, I, I was called sir. Oh, okay. It just really sucks every time it happens. I'm sorry about that. I don't need to be called ma'am. Okay. I just need to not be called sir, you know? Thank you. Did you call me sir? I, I just want to tell you that the person who gave me this called me sir. What? Call me sir. Oh. Wow. Yeah. It's just like, it kind of just hurts a lot to get called sir. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Okay. Very good. Right. Thank you so much. No. Oh, I'm, yeah. Thank you. I'm not a sir. <sighs> Nothing like a good misgendering. It does. It is a knife in the gut when I get called oh sir. Oh my! I, f- I feel like I need to tell him. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? It's a knife in the gut. What? That person is playing. I I don't believe that person is actually. Like, no. <laughs> no. No. No way. That no person way? is going on a date with their phone <laughs> several times a week. And setting up their phone on a tripod on the table. With their phone and their dog. <laughs> what are you setting it up, dude? It's a setup. It's an actual setup. It's like there used to be a show when I was a kid. 
oh gosh, what was it called? Secret or something. What's my secret or something like that. And they used to do kind of the same thing, put people in positions, like, yeah. you know what I mean? To make mistakes. Like, I believe this person is setting up the, yeah. the wait staff to stumble so that they can make content. Absolutely. And every single video is the same. They're That's even right. saying it's like a knife in the chest in every video. I mean, it's all scripted. It's <laughs> there's no <laughs> there's no original content. <laughs> <laughs> and also, sorry if you have to sit down at a table and tell people your pronouns. <laughs> that should be your first clue that you're going to get misgendered, <laughs> whether you like it or not. I bet Seth and I, uh, Seth, do you ever sit down at a table, Seth, and say, "Oh, before we move forward, my pronouns are he him." Have you ever no. done that? Never, never once. They're like super salad and, and they're like, oh, it's not sir, it's ma'am. <laughs> totally. Oh my God. And it sucks because now people are all sketchy, right? They're all like, I'm so scared to even say anything to anybody now. It might just become that person. If yeah. if I was waiting at a table and I saw a, a phone set up like that, I would not wait at the table. I'm telling you. No, right? I would think that they, they aren't ready to order yet. <laughs> <laughs> but not only that, I would feel like I'm I'm not going to get filmed. Like, right. don't you do that. Voice. You don't want your voice at the restaurant on camera. So I, I actually, think that, yeah, I think that's actually a. So, so what about that person's privacy? It's a validate. It's a, a invalidating that person's privacy. Definitely. To, to, to record them without their consent. I guarantee you, those yeah. waiters did not consent to that. They did not. Oh no! No, no. way! No way! Wow. Um, that person's ridiculous. Really? What What are we going to do, Seth? This is like out of control. These people are, are now filming everywhere they go and anything they do. They're filming it to, 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 to sort of humiliate. I believe they're trying to humiliate people. And then add on another layer of the fact that I don't think they even realize how deeply disturbed they are. I, I feel like right. they think somehow right. deep down they're doing something good. I don't know what it is, but... Um, they're so they're in so deep. I feel like that they think they are actually spreading awareness for something and I don't yeah. know what the awareness is, but they think they're doing something right. Okay. Well, thanks everybody for watching and let us know if you like this sort of style, we'll do some more for you. I, I really enjoy my time with Seth anyway. So that being said, um, really we're, we're, I think really, we just got to start pushing back on these people. They're insane and they're ruining it for the rest of us. And I'm sorry if you get misgendered and you have to think about That's why nice. you're getting misgendered. Seth and I don't get misgendered. <laughs> it's been over a decade for sure. And but, there's a I reason mean, why put the work in you have to, it's about you, not about the rest of the world you know, seeing what you're doing. It's, it's about yourself and your personal relationship with yourself. That's right. Right on my friend. That's why I totally just love you and love that you have such a great attitude for a young trans guy. It means a lot to me. So with that, sure. everybody like subscribe, do all those things. We really appreciate you so much. We'll see you on the live sure. next week and new stuff is coming up real soon. And um, so we'll see you on the next one. Love you.